folks, I wanted to take a look at making this rather nice 2001 Space Oddity animation. So, first thing I've done is I've taken the poster, which is here. Okay, I've got it in the original poster, which I've cropped the center section out in Photoshop. Okay, and I won't go through all this because it'll take a long time. But basically what I've done in Photoshop is I've used the quick selection tool. Okay, to... Um, to kind of divide these up into layers so your quick selection tool is here and you know you can you can select you can select this and then you can go and select a mask and modify and, and kind of finesse your selection so I've done that there for, and then we've got the the planet okay it doesn't have to be perfect okay I've got the moon and I've got the spaceship and then finally I've got the the background there which I've done a lot of clone stamping there to fill in any areas that might get uh, seen as the camera does its kind of pan across the screen and a slight rotation okay so I don't have to fill the whole thing in it's just giving me enough okay to fill in the background so we've kind of there we go so there's the original okay and there's a kind of new version with some clone stamping on the background Okay, and then I'll just save that as a Photoshop document and then I can go and into After Effects and I can go and import a file. Okay, and what I want to do is go and import this and make sure I keep the layers. And here I'm going to import as a composition and open. Okay, I hit OK. And I'll double click that. Okay, there's my, my composition. So we've kept all the layers there from Photoshop. There's my background layer. Okay, this one. And it's always handy to just rename them so you can see what's what. So I'll call this one ship. Okay, and let's see, that one's the the moon. Alright, and this one is the uh, planet. Okay, and um, we've got this one, which is of course the big ship. So I'll just call it big ship. Okay, and I'm going to put the. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to leave the order. I might change them later. And then I'm just going to make all these 3D. Okay, and I'm also going to take um, the. I'm going to take this. Here we are. This comp. I'm going to duplicate that. Okay, and drop this in as, as the bottom layer. So if I solo that, okay, I've got that. And I'm going to use that in a moment for reference. Okay, so uh, you'll see why in a sec. So this I'll, I won't make 3D. I'll go over to my uh, custom view. Okay, and what I want to do is take the background. Okay, I want to push that into the distance. And then I'll take the moon. Okay, and that wants to be kind of there, and I'll push the planet back as well a bit. Okay, so maybe the planet, and then there, and then the ship and the big ship I'll leave together because they're kind of locked together there. Okay, so uh, what we should get, if I maybe even make that a little further out, just to give it a little more 3D depth. Okay, we'll get these three layers. Now, of course, when I go back, I'll turn this bottom layer off. When I go back to my active view, okay, so they're all kind of in different places now. Okay, uh, these are the same, but these need to kind of be back to where they were. So I'm just going to put the background layer on as a reference. Okay, and then I'll go to my moon. Okay, and let's sort of pop it in there. And uh, just scale that up. Okay, so I'll just drop it into the right place and scale it back up. Get it back to kind of where it originally was. Hold down shift, we'll keep it constrained. Okay, and then we've got this one here. Again, I can just hold down shift, scale this back up so it fills the and move that over. Okay, just over there, that's all right. And uh, we've also got a background layer there. So again, I want to just scale this up to fill the comp. 
So that's that. And then this layer I can delete, don't need that. That's just given me um, a little handy reference to put things back in the right place. Okay, so now they're all 3D, and if I look at my uh, custom view, you can see they're all separated out in 3D space nicely. So all we need to do now is a little animation on this. So I'm gonna go and create a new camera, and I'll go with the uh, default 50 millimeter preset there. And to animate the camera, I'm gonna use my old favorite, a orbit null. So I've got to the layer menu, camera, create orbit null. And let's just start here. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna open up the rotation. I'm gonna add keyframes for both position and uh, rotation. Okay, I'll, I'll keep them. I'll probably only do one rotation, one property, but I'll just keep them all. Just And then I'm gonna come forward and I'm gonna move the position in a little so it's just moving in slightly like that um, maybe change it so it's coming up a little to keep the ship the ship in not too far so we don't see the bottom so a little change in position there on the on the camera okay and I might do a small kind of rotation on this as well just to add a little interest again maybe that and just see a bit of edge there so I can just bring that in a little bit more all right so we've got the camera kind of doing that and so we're getting a sense of 3d here which is nice okay and i'm also going to take the uh, the ship okay i'm going to come to the end i'm going to add a keyframe there for position and then i'm just going to come back just hit that there there we are and just add position I'm going to come back to the start and I'm just going to take the position and just uh, kind of move it up a little. Okay, kind of a straight line there. So we've just got that ship kind of traveling away. I'll put it on a low res so it'll play it faster. There you go, we've just got that ship kind of traveling away. There we go. What I also added to this was just put a white solid in, new solid. Put it, make it white. Okay, and this is going to be our stars. Stars. Just have that above the uh, background layer. And here I'm going to put the effect uh, CC Starburst. Okay, I'm going to make these stars, I've got about full res. Okay, nice and small, take the size down. I'll also scatter them out, there's way too many. So we've just got little stars, and I'm going to change the speed to something really low, like, like 0.1. Okay, and there you can see. So now we've just got a few little stars animating. There they are. So on the one that's rendered you can see there we've got some stars okay and then to get the text I could just write the text in but is, let's say I've got the original poster here let's just drag that onto the new comp icon okay and what I did for this was I just um, did a little mask on this and masked out this to begin with And then I just went to the uh, layer menu and did an auto trace. Okay, based on the luminance. So I've got this auto trace layer here now, which I'm going to copy. And I'm going to go over here and paste that in. There it is. Now it's down the bottom here, so I'm just going to uh, do a quick center anchor point and layer content. And then I can just go and center in view. Okay, and here we go. And I'm going to change the the colors by changing the solid settings to uh, yellow and now what I'm going to do also there we go is I'll make that 3d so it's got a bit of a camera move uh, but I don't want it to, to tilt 
Okay, I don't. I, I want it to always face forwards. So what I can do with this is right click on this and choose auto orient, orient towards camera. So this layer will always face the camera. Okay, and what I also need to do is just take this layer and just go and you can see here, for custom view, I just need to pull it slightly forward to make sure it doesn't get cut off by the other layers as it travels around. There you go. Okay. So we've now got a cool 3D animation from a 2D poster. So thanks for watching buddies.